Now, tiramisu can be a very intimidating dessert, but our next guest is here to teach us how to make it in only 10 minutes. What? 10 minute tiramisu? Please welcome back the creator of Bigger, Bolder Baking, our very dear friend, Gemma Stafford. Welcome back, Gemma. Thank you for having me. We are so excited to have you, just because I love you, but also because I love tiramisu. I love, I love being here, and I'm excited to show you this dessert, 10 minute tiramisu. I cannot believe it. So what is, um, why is tiramisu, the traditional tiramisu, so difficult to make? Why is it so challenging? So traditionally, it, you make a kind of a mousse-like base and it has eggs and it's a whole stages and you're whipping and all of this stuff. With mine, we took out the eggs. We still have a lovely whipped topping with mascarpone and whipped cream. I'm gonna show you a little cheesy way to do it. Um, so you still get all of the lovely layers and everything, but you don't have to wait nearly as long. I love it. If we don't have to wait as long and I can dig in, then I'm all You start in. digging in. I'm going to start over here. And what is the secret ingredient? So the secret ingredient is whipped cream. So heavy whipping cream. Uh... Whip it up lightly. So this has a little bit of sugar, a little bit of vanilla in here. And you whip Ooh. it up onto soft peaks. Now, one question I get asked a lot, Debbie, is... Um, uh, whipping cream too much. You want to just under whip this a little bit because we are also going to add in some mascarpone into this. Oh, it's so lovely Isn't that and good? velvety. So this is whipping cream that you made. Just some heavy whipping cream, some sugar. Yeah. You made it yourself. You didn't buy it from the market. No, no, no. Okay. Um, in Ireland, we, we don't buy whipped cream. We make it. Exactly. <laughs> Right, you have some of the best cream in the we world. We have some of the best cream. Mm -hmm. um, into the cream, I'm going to put in a little bit of amaretto. If you're not an amaretto fan, you can leave it out. Just give this a whip up. Now, Debbie, I'm very proud to say mm. that on biggerbolderbaking.com, this has over 20, uh, over 2,000 five-star reviews. I, I would give it 2,001 after uh, the day. Oh, nice. This is delicious. Well, if we've learned anything from the internet, it doesn't lie. <laughs> it does. Well, they're very opinionated, the internet. When they like something, they really like Well, they like, like it. my tiramisu. <laughs> All right, so we have our beautiful whipped topping there. We have our whipped cream. We have our lady fingers. Um, so these are lady fingers. These are store-bought store lady fingers. Lady fingers are a little bit crispy, they're dry. So you dip them in your, I'm gonna add a little bit of brandy into my coffee, by the oh, way. Amaretto and brandy, mm -hmm. oh boy. Um, so dip them in. You don't let these guys soak. You've got to be really careful because they absorb liquid so fast. That they'll become mushy. So they'll become mushy. So just a little dippy dip. Would that mean then not to use the soft lady fingers? Because growing up, my mother always used the um, almost cakey like lady yeah. fingers. Do you know what Those I mean? Those are lovely. Just be careful not to dip too much. I do have a recipe on my website for your own homemade lady fingers. And mm -hmm. they're the soft cakey ones. And they're really lovely. So that's a nice touch. If you can't do that, then a store-bought is just fine. Okay. So we're just gonna layer these in here. Just like It's a nice that. little dip. And what if you can't find lady fingers where you are, or is there another cookie you could replace? That's a with? good question. You know, there is a, um, a layer of sponge cake would oh, be the no. best thing to kind of sure. absorb the liquid. Um, apart from that, like a graham cracker, anything like that doesn't work. It has to be something that um, doesn't have is, much flavor. Exactly. And yeah. exactly. It's kind of a vehicle for your coffee and your cream and your brandy and all that stuff. There you go. So there you go. You lay them in there. Give them a little bit of a squeeze. Can I tell you, Gemma, um, this is just as good as the traditional recipe, if not better. Isn't I'm not nice? missing a thing. And then you go on two layers. You go on mm. with your whipped cream on top, your mascarpone. Mascarpone is traditional. For all tiramisu. Yeah. Um, and you know what, Debbie, if you don't do coffee or if you're not a brandy fan, you can always leave out the alcohol from this recipe. If you don't like coffee, however, I do have one on my website that is a berry tiramisu. Oh, which it's like a trifle. Some, so it's like a trifle almost with berries, uh, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. It is one of my favorite recipes on the website. Well, I love that you just said that because I was going to say, if you don't like coffee, don't have tiramisu. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tiramisu is coffee. So how long does that have to chill? So chill it for around two hours. Okay. Just let uh, all those flavors kind of like marry, like marry together and just get nice and tasty. And then... Um, oh goodness, did you put, is that cocoa on top? Sorry, cocoa on top, cocoa powder on top, a nice dusting. Mm. Unsweetened cocoa powder, good quality. Yeah, you don't need the sweet because it's already sweet Exactly. Inside. And then... <laughs> and then you dig in. Dig in. So the one thing I like to do is make this the day I serve it. I don't like tiramisu to hang around because it gets a little bit soggy. It does, but I'll still eat it. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. I will still eat it because the flavors are so good. So while you dig into your beautiful tiramisu, your 10-minute tiramisu, which, by the way, we made like in five, 
Well, you tell everyone about your, the favorite recipes on the website because there have been some recipes on the website that people have gone absolutely crazy yeah. for. So one of those recipes is loaded baked potato bread. It's a bread <laughs> with cheese, sour cream, bacon, everything you love in a loaded baked potato. Oh my goodness. Um, tiram or, I said tiramisu. The pizza, New York style pizza we did recently. I love this has one. has been huge. And thin and crispy chocolate cookies, which I didn't know they were a thing until recently. I'm obsessed with thin and crispy cookies. Those are the best cookies. Those are the only kind of cookies I like. Oh, they're amazing. Gemma, you were fantastic. Thank, Thank you, you so Debbie. much for being here always. We've Thank been with you. you from the beginning and we really appreciate I you. I love being here. Thank Aww. you very much. We love you too. For the full recipe, you all make sure to visit hallmarkchannel.com and be sure to connect with Gemma on her website, biggerbolderbaking.com.